Hey, it's Ahama Collector here. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at the two pound death card of Andreas Stalinger. Uh, so, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so, right at the top, we have a uh, nice smaller format photo of Andreas. And then moving down to the bottom of the card. In prayerful remembrance of the Gefreiter and Infantry Regiment, Andreas Stalinger, from Hetzenberg, parish of Hirschhorn, who died a heroic death for his fatherland during the fighting in Russia on September 21st, 1941, at the age of 21. Now, I was actually able to find a casualty record for Andreas, so I'll go ahead and put that up on screen. Uh, he was born on September 8th, 1920, in Hetzenburg, and was a member of the 3rd Company, Infantry Regiment 62, part of the 7th Infantry Division. At the time, the 7th Infantry Division was fighting near the town of Vyazma, where the Germans had encircled the Soviet 16th, 19th, 20th, and 24th Armies. And he was killed by a headshot in the village of Corinne. So, at the time, yeah, Germans had a massive encirclement of Soviet troops, which um, happened quite a bit during Barbarossa. And while trying to liquidate this pocket of Soviet forces, Andreas would be shot in the head. Now, I do actually have cards for six other members of the 7th Infantry Division. Uh, Josef Rauscher, who was an Unteroffizier in the 7th Battery of Artillery Regiment 7, was killed by a shrapnel wound to the left upper shoulder and arm at Medin, Russia, on October 16, 1941. Xavier Rausch, who was a Gefreiter in Company 4 of Infantry Regiment 19, was killed by a gunshot wound to the shoulder and a shrapnel wound to the hip, also at Medin, Russia, on October 19, 1941. Jacob Schlecht, who was an Obergefreiter in the 11th Company of Infantry Regiment 62, was killed by a shrapnel wound to the left thigh, right upper arm, and head at Verea, Russia, on November 7, 1941. Franz Konigbauer, who was a Gefreiter in the 4th Battery of Artillery Regiment 43, uh, would end up dying of osteomyelitis, endocolitis, pneumonia, and a weak heart as a result of a femur wound at Unetsha, Russia, on April 1, 1942. Xavier Niederbruckner was an Unteroffizier and a Gruppenführer in the 3rd Company of Grandier Regiment 62 and was killed by a headshot at Rel, Russia on March 26, 1943. And Ludwig Konrad was an Obergefreiter in the 8th Company of Grandier Regiment 62 and would have his leg torn off by a mine at Kokorevka, Russia on May 25, 1943. So yeah, lots of other cards, members of the divisions, and lots of um, rather gruesome fates as well. Now uh, moving to the very bottom of the card here, you sank like roses sink when they were in full bloom, and hot, bitter tears flow because we won't see each other again. Then moving to the back of the card here. Death of St. Joseph. St. Joseph, special patron of the dying, come to our aid at the hour of our death. Amen. My Jesus, mercy. An indulgence of 500 days every time recited. So yeah, overall, pretty interesting card for Andreas, and it's always nice to have the other cards from the uh, the division that we can kind of, that we can track the record throughout the war. I haven't been able to track down a um, unit history for the 7th yet that I've been able to purchase, but hopefully if I'm able to find one eventually, I'll be able to uh, use that and maybe even be able to fill out these stories a bit more. But still, we were able to find some good information on Andreas uh, regardless. So, hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below if you're of you. Thank you all for watching, happy collecting, and I'll see you all again very soon.